I'm John Chapman. I'm elevated to the point where I feel almost superior to semi precious weapons. You guys, you are superior well, to semi precious weapons. I don't know about that, guys. You smell okay? I smell all right. You have a dollar. It's Friday, it's shower day. Yeah. You know? So, let me ask you guys. I thought, was that? I thought I had a pretty good year, right? Talk to me about a little bit about your year because mine looks like crap compared to you. So, <laughs> I don't think that's true. It's true. Um, well, you just don't know the reality of our year. You just did the press release okay. of our year. Yeah. Um, oh, it's been an amazing year. We got signed to uh, Geffen Interscope. Um, we've been touring the world with the one and only Lady Gaga. Uh, our debut major label album came out. Uh, everything is. It sounds the way we want it to sound. Yeah. sound yeah, the album yeah. sounds great. Yeah. We all still like each other. We've played yeah. probably 300 shows in 325 days. And that's not an exaggeration. Yeah. Um, things Thousands are of pretty, people every night. Pretty fucking awesome. No. Lollapalooza was life changing. Yeah. 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 I can imagine. Now, so. let me ask you you're, you're touring with Lady Gaga, right? Yeah. Uh, why did you choose to do a headlining tour when you guys are doing such a rigorous tour anyway? Uh, we just decided uh, to, you know, why take three weeks off when you can just keep touring. Um, and actually, it's been really amazing just to see the kids um, that are, you know, because opening is such an amazing experience. It's such a huge opportunity to open for Gaga. Yeah. Um, but, you know, most people there have no clue who we are. So it's so great to come back to these headline shows and, like, see fans that know every word and they live and die for Santa Cruz weapons. It's, um, it's been really amazing. Our, our album is working. People love it. Yeah. And the yeah. rock and roll kids can come back to the shows. We can't afford like the big pop ticket. Right, right. They, they can come see us again in a dingy little burger bar. Is it is it a little less challenging then doing a headlining show? Like no, yeah, there's you know what I mean. Way like, more yeah. work involved. Really? Because our own, you know, it's everything is you know, when you're opening for Gaga. There's it's so massive and there's so much security and there's union stagehands and there's so much stuff. Yeah. But, with this, it's just us and two friends helping us. I mean, it's hustling. Our shows don't sell out in five seconds. Right. 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 Gaga's shows sell out in three you, seconds. Ours do. Do you guys have to, like, fight for the audience for Lady Gaga, or are they pretty much cool? Because the whole thing, like, you know, usually when you're opening up for anybody, you like, walk in, like, and yeah. they're online getting a beer or something. We've been really lucky that the kids actually go pretty crazy for us. Yeah. yeah. Gaga super fans already know who we are right. because she talks about us so much. So right. that's been really awesome. Right. Yeah. I feel like I'm like not including you because I'm yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't feel like I'm being boxed up. No, I mean, I'm I'm sure. he yeah. deserves to be excluded. Really? Yeah. This is your little time out on the chair. This is my little hang right in the room. Yeah. So, I mean, what was Lollapalooza like for you guys? Because, A, you're playing Lollapalooza, which is amazing. And then, so you just become such a viral phenomenon in the whole, you know, the mosh pit and the whole thing. But, what was that like? See? <laughs> See that? Yeah. 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 Well, you should start. Because Gaga started on your drum set. That is right. true. Uh, it, was, it was great. You know, we were uh, playing on one of the smaller stages. Uh, we, uh, you realize all of a sudden, right before we hit, there was just a sea of people kind of starting to fill up in that area. I think on the count was something like 7,000 people. 7,000. And we were on a very small stage, so we have 7,000 people to see on those smaller stages. It's crazy. But we played the same time as Tiva, so we were expecting to three people in there. Wow. Not 7,000. Yeah. So, are you slowly introducing new music into like the live performances? We are, we're, you know, on this headline tour, we're playing the whole album, okay. um, and we aren't playing, and we do a, a half of a cover. Can they pull up? Yeah. No, sorry. Should yeah. we try that room? Should we try that room? Yeah. Let's try that room. You can still... Yeah, come on. We're going to go to a quieter room. I think it was yeah. a wise decision. Close that door. Yeah. Okay. So, why don't you pull up a chair? Yeah. If you guys, uh, oh, there you go. See ya. You like that chair? Improv. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We 
You're still at the end, man, and now I'm leaving you out. It's all good. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Alright, can I go check my Yeah, go. Okay, yeah. Bye. <laughs> that was fun. So, uh, what were we even saying? Lollapalooza. Okay, Lollapalooza. There's like thousands of people in front of us, just insane. And then, uh, the show's nuts, and everyone knows all the words, they're screaming their heads off. And then, um, gosh. <laughs> Man, this is like if I interviewed the Beatles, and Ringo's like, I have to take a piss, and John Lennon's like, I have to check my phone. Yeah. Except there was no cell phones in the 70s. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Can you imagine how many chicks they would have had if there were cell phones in the 70s? Seriously. Lollapalooza. Yeah. yeah, so Lollapalooza, insane, amazing, and um, Gaga came to watch our show. Right. And so she stands inside the stage, um, singing every fucking word, and then during Magnetic Baby, she, uh, during Magnetic Baby, she uh, came out, started playing drums, Yeah. and then, uh, started singing, and then her and I made out a little bit, and then she staged it. I love how you say it's a nice woman. Yeah. Well, we I made out with Gaga for years, so it's, yeah. it wasn't really... But she hasn't dove into, like, 7,000 people right. in a while. Yeah, and, right, it, right. and he didn't have every single camera. Yeah, know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, it, it was amazing. Yeah. That, that show was, like, absolutely mayhem. Absolute yeah. yeah. It's cool, in a good way. That's what we like our shows to feel like. Yeah. Are, are you guys... Like starting to prepare for the second album now? Yeah, we've been writing. Okay, so you're writing on the road. On the road, yeah, we have a lot of new stuff. We just, you know, we're trying to sell this album a lot right. on a huge scale. So we're only playing songs for this album right now. So kids actually know right. what we are. You um, actually, this will conclude part one of the interview.